हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम एक रूप आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन दिस इज अ पार्ट टू वीडियो ऑफ ई वी एस चैप्टर द प्लान फेयरी एज यू हैव लर्न सो मैनी थिंग्स इन अर्लियर वीडियो देयर यू हैव लर्न अबाउट द प्लांट्स देयर टाइप्स एंड द थिंग्स ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम द प्लांट्स सो सो स्टूडेंट्स वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू दिस चैप्टर फ्रॉम द लास्ट पैराग्राफ ऑफ पेज नंबर इलेवन अर्लियर एज आई हैव नरेटेड दिस चैप्टर इन ब्रीफ there i have told that how children started playing plant fairy game all have taken interest in uh, that game even though one boy michael found this game very interesting so when michael's turn came michael said get me some leaves quickly but remember you are not to pluck the leaves from the plants said didi the children ran to collect the leaves which were laying on the ground in this paragraph michael said get some leaves वन दीदी इमीडिएटली सेट डू नॉट प्लग द लीव्स ओनली कलेक्ट द फॉलन लीव्स सो स्टूडेंट्स डू यू नो अबाउट वाई लीव्स फेल डाउन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न अबाउट दिस योर यू शुड नो अबाउट द लीव्स सो वॉट आर लीव्स सो स्टूडेंट्स लीव्स आर कलरफुल पार्ट ऑफ प्लांट ग्रीन कलर पार्ट लीव्स आर नॉट ओनली ग्रीन कलर दे कैन डिफर इन कलर्स लाइक रेड green yellow etc so many colors are there leaves are basically plant part that grow out of the stem basically it grows on branches so the leaves helps the plant to get the light and air so basically the main function of leaf is photosynthesis leaves have a pigment called a chlorophyll basically this chlorophyll gives a green color to leaves now students you have to remember why leaves have a green color due to chlorophyll so it gives them the green color it also helps the leaves to make their food so the green leaves take a carbon dioxide from air so you can see in picture also and combine with the water and sunlight to make a food for plants this process is called as photosynthesis so we have learned about the chlorophyll so now why plant shed their leaves so students basically when the chlorophyll as i have taught you chlorophyll is a pigment in leaves so when chlorophyll in leaves finishes leaves are dry up and fall down so it is called as a shedding of leaves you can see in this picture gulmohar tree in summer and gulmohar tree in winter so in summer gulmohar tree is having red color leaves and in winter there is a no leaves so basically in india most of plants shed their leaves in autumn season so some plants shed their leaves their leaves once a year mostly during winter some trees shed a leaves few leaves throughout the year leaves also dry up when they don't get enough water and sunlight so students after collecting leaves children started discussing about the shapes colors and margin of leaves so daya ram said i did not know that there were so many types of leaves look some are round some are long and some are uh, triangular so ammu said there are so many different colors as well some are light green and some are dark green some are even yellow red and purple there is a one which is a green but has a white patches on it so as i have told you leaves are not only of one color it can be red yellow purple you can see in picture also here they have shown so many leaves of different color so look even the margin of a leaf these leaves are different from each other some have straight margin and some uneven some of these margin even look like a saw said shabnam ammu and shabnam shouted together we also want to be the plant fairy didi said not today maybe next sunday it is a time to go home now on the way back didi recited a poem for everyone so students children started discussing about the shape size margin and color of leaves so you can see in this picture also there are so many leaves which have a different shapes color size and margin also 
like some are thin some are thick some are big size and some are small some are round in shape and some are triangular still these uh, fallen leaves are useful for us so let's uh, let learn how leaves are useful for us leaves are useful in many ways leaves are used as a vegetable look at these examples of leaves which we are uh, using as a vegetable in our daily life for example coriander lettuce methi cabbage spinach red cabbage mint swiss chard so these are some examples of leaves which we are using as a vegetable not only the this we are using uh, some leaves as a uh, spices and herbs also some examples are here so like uh, thyme basil tej patta and pars parsley so these are examples of uh, spices and herbs leaves of beetle tulsi and neem these are some examples of uh, leaves which we are using as a medicine not only this we are using leaves to make a bowls and plates you can ask to your elders how earlier they people were using uh, donas pattals and banana leaves to serve the food so banana leaves are now also it is a uh, popular in south side of india so leaves are uh, used to design and decorate the houses houses also so you can see the example mango leaves ashoka leaves how they have used to decorate the house in kacha house some leaves are used as a roof also like leaves of a coconut and palm trees are very long so they are used to make a roofs of a house leaves of khas tree are also used to make a roofs of a mud house not only this the leaves are the food for animal also like a giraffe deer goat sheep elephant cow and buffaloes so they eat leaves of the tree so leaves are basic of their basic food so students as i told you plants shed their leaves once in a year during autumn so during this time of year you see lots of uh, dried leaves fallen on the ground the plant get new leaves then have you observed how these uh, leaves are disposed of sometime these leaves are collected and burnt so what happen when the dried leaves are burnt a lot of smoke is produced which brings a tear in our your eyes and makes uh, us cough the we smoke the smoke is a uh, harmful for eyes and lungs therefore leaves uh, should not be burned so have you heard of any other way in which fallen leaves can be disposed of so students dry leaf dried leaves can be converted into compost which is used as a manure for better growth of plants the leaves are collected and dumped into a pit in a garden so this pit is called a compost pit from where we can get compost or manure so students i as i told you didi recited a poem for the everyone so student this is a one of the poem which you have to read by yourself and you have to color these leaves on the book and you can also write any new poem on leaves so students now come to page number 14 see the second question collect a few leaves of plants like a lemon mango neem basil mint and coriander crush the leaves and smell them do they all smell alike can you identify the leaves just by their smell so student this is a activity which you can do at home also so if leaves are available to you so if you are going to smell those leaves they are not going to smell alike so you can write the answer no they don't they don't smell alike yes some of the leaves can be identified by their smell look at these beautiful pictures they are made of dry leaves 
using a dry leaves make a picture of different animal in your notebook so students this is activity which you can do if leaves are available to you so you can also draw any picture like this so didi taught everyone how to take a rubbing means prints of a leaves and tree trunks so students these are some steps which they have written how to take the prints of a leaves and trees trunk so you can do at home if if it is possible and read these step by yourself so now what is a, you know about the leaves but what is the trunk so look this picture the trunk is a basically the stem of tree and it is a covered with the bark so you can see in picture also brown color bark so this is a trunk so students after doing this activity you have to write some answers so look at the second last paragraph look at the rubbing made by the others are the rubbing of a different plant similar so which leaves gave a good rubbing in case of a which tree was a, the rubbing of a trunk difficult and why so students if you are going to take the prints of a different plants you will find the differences so you can write uh, no the rubbing are different for that question so now next question was the uh, which leaves uh, leave gave a good rubbing so you can write the leaves which are a uh, rough in texture rough in texture means which is a uh, not smooth gave a good rubbing so in case of a uh, which tree was a uh, the rubbing of the trunk difficult and why so you can write rubbing is a difficult of the tree trees with the soft texture trunk for example ashoka mango tree this is because the hard textured surface are easier to be imprinted by the rubbing so now look at the picture and name the things which have pattern of leaves and flowers on them so you have to observe this picture carefully and you have to write the patterns of leaves and flowers on them so you can write the things which have a pattern of leaves and leaves and flowers on them are pillow covers wall painting bed sheet mat curtain book and girls pant so if you have seen any other you can also write so now next question is look for the objects which have a patterns of leaves and flowers on them in your house write their names so you can write so many examples like bed sheet pillow covers mats and wall papers etc so if you have more example you can write so you must have seen many plants and trees how many of them can you name so write their name so you can see and you can write so many examples so students you can write the answer like mango tree ashoka tree banyan tree people tree neem tree gava tree pomegranate tree basil plant aloe vera etc so these are the common plant which you can see in your area so you can write more example also so now next question is are there any plant that you have heard of but never seen which one so you can write answer yes plants like a pineapple apple cashew almond cactus etc so students these are the examples of uh, some plants which we have never seen in our area so now next is a friendship with the tree so first question is what tree is it so students friendship with the tree so in the, this is the activity where you have to choose a tree nearby your school or house and make a friend with the it so what some questions are there you have to write that also what tree is it ask some elder if you don't know so will you like to give your friend a special name what will you name it 
does the tree bear flowers or fruit which ones how do the leaves of a tree look do animal live in the tree which one so find out more about your tree friend and share it with others so you have to write these uh, uh, answers so students whatever plant you will observe you have to write its uh, description so i have taken the example of neem tree which has uh, grown outside my house so i uh, i have written it is a neem tree so now next question will you like to give your friend a special name what will you name it so i have given yes i have given the name green savior so now next question is does the tree bears flowers or fruits which one so i have written yes the tree bears both fruits and flower so how do the leaves of the tree look so as i have observed the leaves are thin and pointed so do animal lives in the tree which one so yes for example i have i have observed squirrels and sparrows etc so these are the examples you can write whatever plant you will observe so thank you students i hope you have learned so many things from this video